Name the complex. Dextro. This is K3. IR is iridium. C2O4 is oxalate. First, what you have to do while naming the complex, you have to find the complex, whatever given in the square bracket is anion or cation. Whatever first given is will be a cation. And whatever the next one given is a anion. So, what is the complex is this? It is an anionic complex. Then, first thing is, you have to name the cation. What is the cation? The cation is potassium. This is potassium. Potassium, you should not mention tri di. Even though you have three here, you should not write tri potassium. The next step is, in this case, it is given dextro. So, you have to name the isomer. Is that is dextro. If it is given, you have to name, otherwise no name. What is dextro and what is levo? Dextro and levo. So, that is, if the complex rotates the, this is a complex, the complex rotates the, Plain polarized light. Plain polarized light to in the clockwise direction. We call it as dextro and it is denoted by the symbol plus. If it rotates in the anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, it is levo and it is denoted by the symbol negative. That means if you are passing a, this is if you consider this as a light. After passing into the solution, this solution, what is the solution? This is the solution. If this light turned like this, that means what happens? It is rotated clockwise. We call it as dextro. If the light rotated like this, if this one rotated like this, that means what? We call it as anti-clockwise. We call it, this is levo. So, what happened here? Here it is given dextro to denote that you have to put a D. D means dextro. If it is levo means you have to put L. The next thing is number, number and name the ligands. Number and name the ligands present inside the square bracket. That is present inside the complex. What is the ligand present here? This is C O O minus C O O minus. This is C two O four. We know that C O O H and C O O H is oxalic acid. Then what is this ligand? It is oxalate. Because it is a negative ligand, it ends with the suffix O. How much it is present? It is there. It is three. That means it is trioxalato. What is the name of the ligand? You have to number first. Number is tri. And what is the name of the ligand? It is oxalato. Trioxalato. The fourth one is you have to name the central metal atom. Name central metal atom. What is the central metal atom present here? IR. IR means iridium. This is present inside the anionic complex. The complex is what complex? Anionic complex. So, it should end with the suffix ate. A-T-E. That means iridium should end with iridate. If it is cationic complex, that means what happens with the, if the complex is cation, then it should end with the same name. But we have the complex is an anionic complex. It should end with 8. That means iridate. Then finally you have to calculate the oxidation state. What is the oxidation state of iridium? It is take K as 3K you have. You know it is unit positive charge plus IR. Let us take it as X. Plus C2O4. How many it is present? 3. And what are the charges? You have 1 and 2. 
that means it is minus 2. Totally 0. The, the whole thing is a neutral complex. So, 3 plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. x is equal to 3. That should be indicated in the Roman numerals inside the bracket. Finally, what is the name of the complex? It is potassium. Potassium D. D means dextroritatory. Trioxalato. Iridate. small hyphen in between this to indicate that is dextro rotatory. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my, my channel for more videos.